My people, what's going on? It's your old pal CHH here today. We've got an unboxing here. I've got my package from Severin, and I do want to talk about a situation that went on with Severin and their Black Friday only release of Four Flies on Grey Velvet, which I do have, and we will take a close look at it and uh, make a little examination, if you will. But I also had a few releases that I wanted to show that I picked up. I want to show this real quick. I got the Pulp Fiction 4K, and I want to say, I'd only seen this movie once before in my life, and I liked it. I really, really liked it uh, this this second time. Um, Samuel L. Jackson is so good in Pulp Fiction, and the 4K looked really, really good. Um, I actually didn't think I was going to enjoy the uh, Uma Thurman and uh, John Travolta uh, dinner scene as much as I did, but as I get older, I relate so much to, jo uh, you know... John Travolta being like a $5 milkshake, which nowadays in 2022, that's probably a fair price for a milkshake. But back then, that was probably a lot, a lot of money. But he did say it tasted good. And I love the fact that they did the art based on that scene because that scene kind of just steals my heart a little bit. I just love it. Um, what a great movie. The, the only stuff I don't care about as much is the, is the Bruce Willis stuff. I don't think it's bad. I like the redemption at the end of it. But I just think the John Travolta stuff and the Samuel Jackson stuff is by far the best stuff in this movie. So yeah, it was a really good 4K, probably one of the better 4Ks, if not the best 4Ks I've seen this year. And I love these steel books. They really sucker me in to spend just a few more dollars to get these because they look so good. So I did pick that up. Um, I did pick up Smile, which um, it's okay. It's okay. I don't dislike it. I don't love it. It's fine. Um, I'm really glad that it was very successful, though. That's great for the genre. Really great for the genre. And I want to give a huge shout-out to my buddy Kyle for sending me this. Guys, I am obsessed with John Wick, and he sent me John Wick 1 through 3 on 4K. John Wick 3, I think, is better than 2. I really do. I think John Wick 3 gets more to the point of the action sequences and things like that, where 2 kind of threads a little bit more story from the first one and it's not like 3 doesn't have a story but it's very clear John Wick is a wanted man now and I think 3 has some of the better action scenes in the entire trilogy uh, and I love that it's old school action it's not like that Batman no offense crap not the movies that are crap the Batman movies are not crap but the fight scenes are terrible uh, where the cuts are so fast you literally can't make out anything that's going on that's my only complaint. And I, I, I think I said Jared Leto last time I talked about this. I obviously meant Heath Ledger is amazing in The Dark Knight. Those aren't my cups of tea. I'm not into superhero movies. These action sequences are fantastic. It's choreographed. There's a lot of hard work that went into these fight scenes. It's just my style. I'm not taking away from the other stuff. Because I know superhero movies make so many people happy. And I think that's great. I like The Punisher from 1989, the Dolph Lundgren movie. But this is my kind of stuff right here. So I'm so glad to have these on 4K. And I will be opening day of John Wick 4. Okay, so here's the Severn release. Um, Four Flies in Grey Velvet. I'll set that right there for now. Oop. Uh, so this is my Black Friday order from Severn. They sent me a sticker. My grandpa is a vampire. Uh, we both, during, when dead... I'll tell you this, guys. If if there's a Black Friday sale or a big sale happening on a website, Dead Pit is the show to be watching. I don't even dare do live shows during that night because I know I want to be watching the Dead Pit one because you're going to get the brutal truth about uh, movies and releases like this. But this was a movie that nobody on the show heard of or had seen, and it just looks like a kid, fun, baby horror film. It even says Seven Kids down there. Um, so I'm excited to watch this. I'm expecting this to be silly, like a Mac and Me kind of thing, just like a kids movie. But Al Lewis is in it uh, from the Munsters, and that's what really, uh, you know, uh, sucked me in. So I'll probably be doing a live wa live viewing of this on my channel sometime relatively soon. We got a bunch of good stuff on here. So we got some special features. That's great. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just ready to look at Four Flies on Gray Velvet. Okay, guys. So here is the release of Four Flies on Gray Velvet. Um, I am happy to have this, don't get me wrong, and I'm not complaining of th this release in terms of its quality. It's actually a pretty thick 4K release, but there was a little bit of controversy, so when this was announced, the image that was shown 
clearly was a very thick case on the imagery, giving us the impression that it was going to be a boxed release like Arrow with booklets and cards and everything like that. It's very stacked, I'll give them that, but um, here's what I'll say. I'm actually... Look, this thing was not cheap at all, and they made this available only for Black Friday, which means you'll probably get a standard release of this down the road. Um, and, and there's a part of me that probably says to myself, yeah, Christian, you probably should have just waited. But I didn't. Um, I, I The pressure was there. You know, this is Dario Argento film I haven't seen, and I had it on good authority that this is a classic Dario Argento film. So I picked this up, and, um, you know, it's not a hard box slipcase. Uh, it's, it's close to the Vinegar Syndrome stuff. There's it's certainly, it's raised, the lettering and things like that. And it looks nice. Um... But here's the release. Uh, it comes with multiple discs, uh, four discs. So disc one, it's got the disc one has audio commentaries, uh, trailers, um, director's cut. Disc two, Lord of the Flies, interview with Dario, The Day of the Flies, interview with co-writer. Disc three, Have a Talk with God, interview with Bud Spencer, interview with uh, actor Gildo DiMarco, interview with assistant cameraman Roberto Forge Devon Sati. Uh, producer Angelo uh, Iacano interview, production manager, interview with film historian Antonio Tintari, uh, an interview with uh, the author of uh, Profondo Rosso, Alan Jones, and then the fourth di disc is a CD soundtrack. So my complaint is not that the release um, is cheap looking or um, doesn't come packed with special features. It's certainly a pretty thick Blu-ray case. Uh, you do get this card in the front. Uh, it's just, guys, uh, it, here, here's what I want to say, though. Um, so here's our discs. So, I mean, if you're a Blu-ray person, you'll be in good shape. Um, disc 2 is the feature with extras. Disc 3 is additional features, and disc 4 is a soundtrack. My only thing is, guys, here's, here's my comment on this whole thing. Sorry if I'm long-winded about it. One of my friends actually complained on Twitter, and Severn reached out to them and, and was like, hey, what's what's the complaints about? And then they said, look, you know, that image you guys posted was clearly a much thicker image for this box. And what's the deal with that? I feel like you guys should have been more uh, open about that. And I never saw the DM, but the, the person told me, and he can comment below if he wants to um, let it be known that it was him. But he told me that they responded with, oh, well, we really were trying... And I think he even said planning on doing a release like that, meaning a hard, thick box case with the with the release inside of that, like Arrow. But we just couldn't make that happen, or something happened, we couldn't do it. If that's the case, guys, uh, Severin, you just always, look, always be upfront and open with your customers. They will always be more appreciative of honesty and uh, forwardness. Cauldron Video is, is learning that right now, and when they just announced... Uh, House by the Cemetery 4K, they were like, look, this is the limited edition release we're doing, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. If you don't want this, you'll get the regular release, which I'm going to wait for the regular release of that. I don't need all the extra stuff. I have a nice Blu-ray release that has a bunch of extra stuff. I just want the movie on 4K, so I will wait. And I'm going to support Cauldron because of their honesty. Uh, and I love Severin. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. This isn't an ass-chewing on Severin. Just guys, in the future, always be as 100% as transparent as possible. You guys had to have known that the box was misleading. Look, I forgive you, but let's learn and move forward. Uh, I know this could be very trivial to maybe you w watching or listening right now, but when you're spending this kind of money on release, you know, we want to know exactly what we're getting and exactly the way it looks. So let's be very open and transparent about that in the future. That being said, this is still very nice. Not $60 nice. Uh, but I'd say 40, 45. Um, but you know what? Look, they made it available for Black Friday only, and I felt the pressure and I succumbed. And um, although I haven't seen this movie, I have it on good authority that it is a Dario classic based on my friends that are deep, deep, deep into the genre, like Pizal and Lorne. So, you know, I bit the bullet. So there we go, guys. Uh, that is my haul. Again, we'll go this Four Flies on Grey Velvet, John Wick 1 through 3 4K, got Smile on Blu ray. And then, of course, probably one of my favorite 4Ks this year, Pulp Fiction. And then, of course, my grandpa is a vampire. So thank you guys for watching. That is my haul right now, my new 4K Blu-ray haul. See you guys very, very soon. Take care.
I want to say thanks to all my amazing Patreon supporters who make Planet CHH possible. For behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and more, you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month.